Hey guys, Devin with Resupplies. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about DC return pumps. Now, one of the first things that people mention when they see my tank is they're always surprised how quiet it is. And now, I've made sure actually every single motor in my tank is DC. They not only run cooler, they're quieter, and they consume less power. And let's face it, we all want a cheaper power bill. Um, so as you can see, I've had a number of DC pumps so far. Um, I'm actually using all three of these in the current tank. I started with the 3000 in my 30 gallon tank, which now runs my media reactors. I have the 4000 feeding my skimmer, and I have the DCS 7000 as my return pump. Now take a look at my sump. We got the 4000 in there feeding the skimmer. Um, we have the 7000 acting as my return pump. And as mentioned before, we got the DC-3000, which is feeding my media reactor. And a quick look at the controllers. Um, here's the 7000 controller, and this is for the 4000. Uh, they're both virtually identical. One just has a little higher wattage on it. Um, it's very simple, just plus up, plus down to control it. They're about 10% increments, because you've got 10 lights for each one from 0 to 100%. If you push the feed mode, hold it down for a few seconds. You'll see it now lights up for 10 minutes, and that will turn off your pump. And after 10 minutes, it will turn back on and slowly ramp back up. The JBAL pumps, or JCOB, have been extremely reliable for me. Uh, the DC3000 does 237 to 790 gallons per hour. The 4000 does 750 to 1055 gallons per hour. We got the 9000 at 1850 to 2375, and the 12000 is 2375 to 3170 gallons per hour. So you kind of got to pick the pump in whatever range you're after. Now they're all controllable. You can dial them all the way up or down within that range. They go in about 10% increments. They also have a built-in feed mode. So you just hold down the button for a couple seconds and it will shut the pump off for 10 minutes. Now the other nice feature is when the power kicks back onto the pump, it does a soft start. So it's not an instant on. It'll gradually spool up so that there's no big rush of water or stuff spraying around in your tank. Uh, another couple of cool features is it does detect if there's something jammed in the impeller and it will turn off the pump or if the pump runs dry it will detect and turn itself off. So they do have a number of safety features built in. Now running my whole tank, um, since I swapped to DC pumps, it has greatly reduced the power consumption which is a big plus for me. And one of the biggest reasons I've swapped to DC is because of noise. I like my tank to be as quiet as possible so my goals, everything I can possibly do, I tone it down. I like to see it and not hear it. And the J-Bell pump's been great for me. If you guys would want to learn more or you want to replace that noisy pump, check out some of our selection at reefsupplies.ca.